Hello, anyone and everyone. Welcome to Ed Trial Plays Sync again. I hit confirm. Uh, yeah, let's play the tutorial, right? I think that's fair. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let's play Ed Trial Plays Sync again. Uh, it is currently 12 US dollars. Nice, 12. Yeah, they live by Flatcoon, published by Flatcoon. Now I really want to second guess myself and look at this Steam page because. Is this on sale? Was it on sale when I wrote that price down, or is it normally twelve dollars? Ah, classic Steam. How would I hit your store page? And Steam wants to. Work. It is twelve dollars. No lie. All right, back to what I was doing. Uh, came out December seventeenth, twenty twenty twenty. Paradox. Hey, DC. I have the notes for uh, Crusader Kings three, which I'll never play. Anyway, Sing again is a humorous game with a pirate theme, turn-based tactics. With board game elements and much more, assemble the perfect team of pirates and go in search of treasures. <laughs> Sorry. The game continues the tradition of turn-based tactics, bringing many new elements of mechanics in the genre. Okay. I mean, I'm interested. I'm interested. He says, already entering the story. Welcome to Sing Again. You are just a few steps from your first real adventure. All right? You need a crew. Every town in the Caribbean has a tavern where pirates who want to join your team are waiting for you. Open the tavern panel using the tavern button. Uh, boom, boom. Each pirate has unique, is unique, has, has its own strengths and weaknesses. A combat class, melee shooter, voodooist. So there's just only three? Which I mean, I'm fine with, but I mean, voodooist is very specific. And a set of characteristics. You can get acquainted with them by hovering the cursor over the pirate's characteristics at the pirate information panel. Uh, nuance. A pirate has attack on if he uses a weapon other than his class. For example, a melee character will be less successful in ranged attacks or casting spells. Duh. The uh, size of your crew is limited by your ship size. First pirate in your crew will not cost any gold, but the sub subsequent ones will uh, no longer be free. Alright. Tire pirate, open a tavern. Pirate tire, the higher button. Higher both pirates. Tavern. So we got tugboat and sweet cake, huh? Well, this one seems like a higher level, so I'd hire her first for free. No, uh, why are you now level two also? All right. Every pirate crew needs captain, the enemy crew needs it, and even your each captain spends or spreads a unique bonus to himself and his crewmates. Alright, getting the terms of bonus, alright? If you can appoint or change the captain only to the tortu only on the tortuga. If your crew does not have a captain, the captain's appoint uh, then the captain appointment will not cost you any money. Open the registry panel by and select a pirate from your crew and make them the pirate. okay. Uh, the registry offers panel, you can change the name of pirates and of the ship. Got it. Alright, sweet cake and tugboat. F1, uh, alright, cool. What's this? Is there a uh, sharp mind? Sharp eye? An excellent student. Uh, what's this? You seem like this way better. Sweet cake Williams. I like this so far. Oh, that, that's us? Alright. Uh, registry office. We're gonna do Sweet Cake. Oh, wait, no. uh, hold on. Great, you have a crew and even a captain. Bravo, you are a hardened sea wolf. It turns out what? Well, it turns out what's next? We need some kind of goal. When you're on to trigger, you can find a quest button. Alright. If you open this panel, you will receive all the necessary information. Uh, but, but, but in this case, the tutorial request complete the objective of the scenario. And upon this, you will unlock new content, which you can deliver in your next adventure. Alright. You can choose which scenario to play after the tutorial. Uh, open the quest. Alright. But I'm not done. Ship Octopussy. Alright, nickname. What is your nickname? Uh, what, what, what's our captain name? Captain Yasmin. It's Captain Yasmin. Or no, nickname. Uh, we need cool nicknames. We're gonna we're gonna take way too long. Yasmin. Yasmin Williams is acceptable. Uh, nickname. Uh, Bones. Bones, ship name. I really like Octopussy. Yeah, 
Dis shipping Disappointment, Lucia, Caruso, Dancing in the Storm, Knights of the Caribbean, Cruel Sea, Old Fashioned, Satan, Big Bad Wolf, Holy Ship. That's so good. That's so good by itself, Holy Ship. Ecstasy. Dude, these puns are underdog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ship name is un The Underdog. Uh, Yasmin Williams. Okay, we got Antonio Tugboat. Oh, what's her first nickname? Tugboat. This probably has twice looking to be poisoned. He, oh man. He would have been a better captain just off of that, I think. Antonio Han, also known as Tugboat. Because he tugs the boat. Alright, that's cool. Quest. Alright, uh, my comment was Captain. I see you're Rick for first time in Tortuga. Why so, why so stooping? First day, yeah. My name is John Al. I am kind of receptionist here on Tortuga. Nobody will take you seriously without my room clear. There is an island nearby called Dungeon of School. I buried a box of excellent Cuban cigars there, but the last time I went there, it was an empty. So then, give me back my cigar. Uh, my, give me back the box. I'll put in a word for you among the locals. Deal? Alright, we're almost ready to see this. Hiring pirates. You can, uh, boom, boom. You, I'm friend. You can trade goods, buy equipment, heal injuries, upgrade your ship, and much more. You can familiarize yourselves by the, examining the features. Uh, now your crew needs to get the basic equipment over the store. Nuance, your ship carries infinite amount of, uh, amount of equipment, but each of your pirates has a personal inventory. It has a spoiler, four spare items, one normal one. Alright, then equip tugboat with a pirate saber and sweet cake with a fire torch, top hat, and whirlpool tamarind. All right, all right. Get a store, and I guess we buy everything, right? We buy a top hat. Transfer to bones. Transfer to bones. Transfer to thugs. <coughs> Play legendary live. What is this? This, yeah, both equipped. Alright, well, let me do this and this is Tugbo then. Because of Tug at least Tugbo. Oh, wait, no, Tugbo has that. Oh no. He goofed. This one just seems more important for. Sorry, just equip. Well, that was a waste. Wait, what did I see there? What was that? What was that? Yes. Alright, oh, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Oh, I don't want to dismiss him. Wait, I can hire another person? It says like. Oh, did I goof? What's the pet shop? What's the pet shop do? Can't afford them. Voodoo Witch. Voodoo Witch. Alright, what what is what is the with you? Oh, alright. Magic tambourine. That's for the bones. Oh, there's a magic tambourine. Well, I think we look pretty fierce, dude. Uh I think we're ready to go off an adventure, right? I don't remember what else. Shipyard. Main cannon to the zoo. Go to see. That's the button I'm looking for. Hello. Hello. Let me get I guess I should raise up my seat, but it's alright. Uh, so you went out to sea. This is incredible. You are probably only pretending to be a rookie or better to say Captain Rookie. Anyways, note that events happen in real time in the sea. In the upper right Um I realized that my gain might be low. I hope that wasn't a big deal. I just realized that. Anyways. Is note that the events happen in real time in the sea. In the upper right corner of the screen, there is a menu. Look at the image. Uh, and also, oh, no, no, where you can put a uh, game on pause and also speed up in game. Hey, pause. I, I know that stuff for you. It's like the sim. When you are at sea, you can turn on auto fire mode in the same menu. With auto fire on, your cans will fire. Uh, they will auto fire. For camera control, just hold right click. Yeah, cool. Mouse to zoom. Steering the ship is not difficult. When you press W for the first time, your ship will raise anchor. 
So quickly, you do the second press W and the ship will run on full speed and vice versa. When you press S, the ship will slow down and on second press it will drop anchor A and B will perform rotations to land an island pick up a cargo from the water. You need to anchor. In the lower left corner you can see a panel of information will condition your ship, speed guns, and projectiles. You have a map! To avoid, uh, to avoid, uh, to avoid to get lost, to you have a map to avoid to get lost in the sea. You can check the map by pressing map button near the compass. Also, you can open map by pressing M on the keyboard. You can see island locations on it. There's a lot of reading. Uh, islands that you haven't visited yet will be semi-transparent on the map. Hovering the ma uh, mouse over the island will show a full information about the island with the right mouse button. You can mark, do I ever press the left mouse button? Uh, you can put a mark on the map, which will also display on the compass with a blue arrow. Nice. Open the map and find an unvisited island near Tortuga, northeast of Tortuga. Follow the direction of the island. Oh, yeah, we go full speed. What is this? That's my crew. Oh, it's over there. If you are travelers, uh, in your tra travels, you will come across other ships. The color of the ship means the, fra the fraction to which the ships belong. <laughs> hey -oh. You may come across the ships of traders or different nations, military ships of other pirates as well, and pirate hunter ships. They will treat you differently, and if you decide to attack someone else's ship, then make sure the power of your ship will be enough to defeat them. If your ship is lost, the game ends. Fire cans, press a Q and an E. Fire guns on left and right side. The better you can, the faster they reload, the faster they fire, the better your projectiles, the more damage you deal. The which at the bottom of the screen will help you figure out what's happening. To attack the ship, turn one side uh, and make the shot. If you completely destroy the enemy ship, you will go, it will go to the bottom and you can collect the remains of its cargoes. To get more cargoes, as well as take away some equipment of the enemy crew, inflict the damage on the enemy ship and then come closer to it and take it on board. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to board at all times. If you damage enemy ship too uh, much enough, you can board the enemy ship, but only if no other danger nearby. What? Uh, take away something from the enemy ship, inflict the damage in the enemy ship, and then your pleasure take it on board. Okay. There is a British trade church anchored ahead. In the story, the ship will not resist. This team has been evacuated for your safety, and there is no point in taking the ship on board. Attack the ship and sink it. It said press H. Oh. You need one of these. Oh. Got that anchor. And turn. And I, I mean, obviously that's a that's a fake. Uh, scratch, scratch, scratch my nose. Uh, no, I need to loot. Is H the button? Yes. Overboard, give me all that fat fabric. Excellent, go to dungeon school. You can land both on the islands with towns and on and on islands with dungeons. Dudes, go to the dock of the island you're interested in. The dock's marked with a blue load and anchor there. Press enter down into the dungeon. Away we go! Full speed away! Perfect. Perfect. Like a love. I, mean, I am on the pier of this dungeon. What are. Oh. Yeah. Duh. I'm on the pier of the dungeon. I already said I was, dude. So there's no reason to be weird about it. Wonderful, the big part of the tutorial is complete. You only have to learn how to fight in the dungeon. No, the dungeon battles and boarding are in step mode. Ugh. You are now near the edge of the dungeon. Dungeons are dangerous places, and I'm about to sneeze. No, I'm not. Uh, with enemies and traps, but dungeons are also places where you can get a lot of gold equipment and experience. You can leave the dungeon anytime if there are no active enemies nearby. <laughs> And if each, at the start of each turn, all pirate will roll movement, the result of the movement, dice, plus modifications, items, characters, pirate levels, etc. Uh, determine how many such pirate can take a turn turn. In addition to moving, pirate can do one action, or one active action, for example, attack, open chest, check room. Only decide where to go to the dungeon, uh, which door to open, but beware, there can be lots of troubles behind every door, beware, dark rooms. 
you don't have light items in the dark, your pirates will suffer from penalties of any dice roll. Enemies know their hideouts like the back of their hands and darkness did not affect them. <laughs> Sometimes you need to head and turn before you run out of all the steps before you perform an action. In this case, click on the button with the number of steps on the lower right part of the screen. Hockey space. When you skip the turn, you have not yet made an attack, a trap check, or any other action. The pirate will automatically perform a protective stance. While in protective stance, the pirate has bonuses of defensive attacks. If you did not take an active action in this turn and did not move, then I can wait by clicking the appropriate uh, number in the lower left action menu by pressing E and to make this turn a slight delay. Uh, to control the camera, then press right and, yep, uh, move the camera, Wasad. You go to the large closed door and click open door. It is an enigma. Oh man, I I just sneeze. I I can feel the sneeze coming, dude. <sighs> You are lucky there is no enemies in this room, but it, it, it is dark room, room with no fire torches, which means that all actual required dice rolls have penalties in this room. Good news, you have a fire torch if you have, a, if you have equipped it. Dice roll penalties in the dark room do not apply dungeon dwellers as they are well versed in their lair. You pirates are affected in the darkness because there is no pirate in the room with an aluminum such as torch, blowing ruba, ruby, ruba, etc. It is important that the room is considered illuminated, even if the enemies with the torches in the same room. <laughs> Any room, even a lit room, can have traps set by inhabitants of the dungeon. Uh -huh. Check the room for traps to save your health. High intelligence characteristic mages, voodoo, are best suited for this. I marked with a skull icon and info. When a room is uh, successfully checked for traps, the traps will automatically defuse. Nothing will happen upon failed trap check, but you can check the room many times until you succeed. Oh my god, it's it's been I hate when the tutorial is so goddamn wordy, dude. It's been seven minutes of just straight reading. Check the room for traps and disarm the first uh, enter the room, click check for traps or press F the check to say uh, succeeds if you roll two or more or succeeds on that dice. No, the checking for traps is an active action, therefore, if you have already done another action, then there, or, uh, action is turned, then you will not be able to check the room. You don't need to remember which room you have already uh, checked. If you have successfully checked the room, then you cannot do it again. Oh, I already did. Enter room and check it. Not talk about what we're doing. We're gonna go right here. Uh, I went to go check it. I didn't realize that would take so long. F the check. This room is now safe. And in one of its corners, you can find a treasure chest. Some of the chests in the dungeon may already be empty, or and on an empty, and on the other part of the, there may be. Little... <sighs> Some of the chests in dungeons may already be empty, and on the other part, there may be locked. That or there may be locked, and you will have to lock pick it first. Lock picking requires an intellect dice roll. It is better not to try lock picking locks by characters with low intellect, as if unsuccessful, the lock can jam permanently. Approach to the front of the treasure chest, note on the side, and open the chest pop-up. Let's see what happens. Bye-bye. Open the chest. Looks like this is another one of the videos where I only do the tutorial. Get the tutorial has so many paragraphs. Excellent, there's a treasure map and a show on side. When you open the chest, all quests have gold items will automatically move to your ship's inventory. They do not require your slot in your personal. Other items need to be picked up by clicking the image or by pressing the grab all button. If there's no space in the pirate's inventory, if the pirate inventory would run 
It's basically there's uh, items in the chest, then you can have opportunity to transfer items to your personal item to another part of treasure maps indicated where the treasure is buried in the dungeon and also marks the island of the map if you have not visited it yet. The treasures buried in the ground are the most valuable. Each island of the Caribbean has buried a treasure. This is well known, in fact, in real life. But without it, a map is almost impossible to find. It. Treasure maps can be found in other chests and even in sold in town. Digging treasure requires an equipped shovel. It's good that when it's in the chest, it will be useful. But a little later, don't forget to take it from the chest, otherwise, it will disappear. Alright. Open the door. Oh, enemies inside! I really don't want to read this stuff, dude. Like, they literally have made it 20 minutes before I even interacted with an enemy. Oh, there's an enemy inside. When there are active enemies nearby, you can leave the dungeon and only one by one by standing on the tile. See, I'm bad at reading, but like some of the stuff is just messing me up. With the corresponding icon near the dungeon entrance and clicking on the flea button. There's an enemy nearby. You cannot try to find between team members, but now you need to take the flight. So don't worry, the skeleton is only... He did everything correctly before the sweet cake is armed with a tambourine. Magic item can be used on both enemies and allies. The effect of such, an, such action is described at the item info. Reinforce Tugboat by using a tambourine on him. In the next turn, weaken your opponent with the same tambourine. Tugboat is a melee fighter. It, it marked with fist icon at his information. He has a lot of health points and he is heavily armed if you did everything correctly. Attack the enemy with Tugboat until you are victorious. Uh, the success of the attack or spell depends on the results of the roll of dice. If the number of attack dice of successes is greater than or equal to the number of defensive dice successes, the attack is successful. The number of dice rolled and the number of successful faces depends on the characteristics of the pirate. The amount of damage is also affected by the attacker's strength and victim resistances. <sighs> It may, dude, I don't care. It's funny because I, I don't even have the information that I need because it's like... Alright, to make an attack, press button or the additional weapon on the lower left panel. Alright. Got it. Success, boo magic. See, like, I like this type of game, but they're killing me by making it, like, so hard to enjoy this game. <laughs> Unironically. Get a tugboat. You're the combatant of the crew. Oh, it's like what you just got hit. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you can tamper her down. Oh, man, she has no defenses. She will now allow Tugboat to decimate her. I like Tugboat's stance because it looks like he's about to punch you. But then he just doesn't pull out the, or then he just slowly pulls out his sword. Like, all right, here comes, here comes, here comes the sword. Ta! Enemies defeated. You are a master. There is no danger for you in the dungeon anymore. Each dungeon ends with treasury room. Try always to reach that room to get the best reward. Uh, it remains to do the most pleasant thing. Remember the treasure map. X marks the spot. Don't want to show the code. Open the personal inventory. The pirate who took the shovel and equip it. Oh, what the hell is all this? Some pirates have a uh, hermophobia trait and they're afraid of germs will not dig. Some pirates have a great dig trait and will dig treasure even without a shovel. The, the, the dig treasure is first stand on tile. Uh, and have equipped. Please note this is also an active action. You cannot dig uh, for treasure. No, wait, I shouldn't do that.
I guess he's dumb and he's he's dumb so he can't do the chest. But he's also doesn't have the shovel. So I had to do this. I get this equipped. Alright, alright. Can you go over here? No, we gotta just chill. Doesn't matter, dude. This is sort of like divinity, well, except the thing is, like, I can't do anything. Like, not like that. It's like divinity is like the co you know, it's turn based combat, but then once divinity's over, it like, it's like divinity has an action point system. But then it's like you can't dig, like you can't loot. Basically, like you can't loot and do stuff in combat. It requires an action point, like it would in this game. Like an action point is a, like digging, looting, and all that stuff is the same as fighting. But like when you're not in combat, it still takes up a separate action. It's like oh, you can't do two, you can't dig twice, you can't dig and move. This is an action, and it's like come on, dude. You guys just give since we dug up the treasure, you can now leave the dungeon to do this. Like leave. Uh, if you're tired of looking at dice and you need roll, then you can do virtual dice. That's convenient. Um. Hmm. See, this is way too many things now. And I'm pretty sure this is the end. This is the this is the tutorial. Trash the tagbo, trash the tagbo, trash the tagbo, trash the tagbo. Grab all. Let's leave this dungeon. Let's leave it. Let's 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 uh. What did it say? You get uh. Let's leave. Let's leave this dungeon. Yeah! See, I feel really bad because I like, I definitely came off as probably like not being happy with this game because of how long the fucking tutorial was, dude. But, to be honest, I really like this type of game and I love pirate themed games and I love roguelike, I like turn, like, I like a lot of what this thing does, like the spelling mistakes don't bother me. What bothers me is I gotta do what? I understand that 30 minute tutorial is not asking a lot. And that's just, it's really just a stipula, it's just like an issue for me because I'm making a YouTube video and I usually only record the first few minutes. But like, come on man, you're gonna make me wait like 22 minutes before I see a monster? How's that remotely cool? I wasn't in your circle, I broke your rules. Uh, okay, show the box to the... Where do I... Oh, quest. Thank you, thank you. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this was Sync again. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. Let me know what you thought of the game. Again, it looks like it can be a very fun game. I was just irritated with how much reading I had to do with this tutorial. Uh, but that's my own, uh, issues, which, I mean, again, maybe, maybe for future reference, maybe I should, uh, Ray, you have such a you can, uh, independently, yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe I should, like, do tutorials beforehand, but that's not a first impression, then, without doing it. Hey, girl, I see you. Oh, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, there's a monkey? See, this game looks like it'd be really wild and fun. I will catch you guys next time. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the video down below. That's the third time I said it. Love you guys. Catch you next time. This was Sing again. Bye-bye. This thing is called Riding the Bull.